Hydrappa is the new evolution of Diplin in the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC, the Indigo Disc. It has a base 120 special attack stat and a really high base 110 defense and 106 HP, as well as a crazy signature move called Fickle Beam, which is an 80 base power special 100% accurate dragon move that has a 30% chance to double in power to 160. It has one of the best abilities in Regenerator and has fantastic coverage in moves like Earth Power and Hydro Pump, which is why today we'll be trying an Assault Vest set. Let's see how it does. Today we're trying out Hydrapple on the high ladder. Shout out to Maverick Shooters for this team. It'll be on my website, pogany.com if you guys want it. If you do enjoy the video, make sure you let me know as well. And uh, feel free to leave a like. I'm gonna lead off with it because it's AV, so it can stop Deoxys, especially if it's dual screens. In this one, I'll tank an Ice Beam as well. As I mean, it's, even if it's Specs, I'll still tank an Ice Beam just because it's not the strongest mod. But yeah, we get our infestation, that way they have to stay there. And then we'll go for Fickle Beam. Let's get that 160 base power just to start off. Hey, we got the 160 base power just to start out the video. Let's go. If you do enjoy the content, make sure you let me know by leaving a like and feel free to sub to the channel as I'm on that way, to, well, on my way rather, to a big half a mil. I don't even know what they beat this Pokemon with. I'm actually like, what do they beat this Pokemon with actually? I just go for Infestation on, on Golden Go, get my chip, and then go for Earth Power and beat it 1v1. Gouging Fire is definitely a threat. I'll go for Infestation on you too. Ooh. Oh, not the bad dreams on me. That's fine. I'm going for Infestation just for my just for my chip. They're not gonna knock me out anyway. Yep, exactly. Hydrapple is nasty. And get the fickle beam. We do 41. I'll take it. I'll take it. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um Hypnosis nasty plot. I'm assuming they only have the Only have Dark Pulse as their last move. So I'll go King Game. If they want to go for Hypnosis here, great play, but I doubt they would. Did a lot of damage. Let's go for an Iron Net here as Great Tusk comes out. Great Tusk gives me a spin, so I'm completely fine with that. Also, if they bring out their Golden Go right in on it, I can be good too. So, make the Zapdos play on you. I'm pretty defensive. I'll be able to live Knock Off very easily. And now I threaten them. Uh, actually, going to go for a U-turn on Golden Go coming in, which is perfect. Because I can go Great Tusk and then threaten them straight up with a Headlong Rush. And I mean, if they want to switch, that's fine. Make It Rain isn't going to do crap to me anyway. Yep. Doesn't knock me out and I knock out Golden Ghost. So that actually opens up my end game of uh, Iron Val in the back as well. We'll take it. I'm assuming they simply go for an attack here. So I'll bring out Slow King. Just a Thunder Wave you. Tail Glow. As long as it's not Tail Glow Rain Dance. But even if it is at the end of the day, I'll bring you out. And I'm, I'm just going to simply rapid spin with my Great Tusk on this thing. I don't need Great Tusk anymore. I'll eat that up. Get rid of these hazards. I have heavy duty boots, so I don't have to worry too much about them either. I mean, the attack is actually better, but I, I want my Hydrapple to win this game, so I'm going to do it. Plus, it actually switches it on their Tusk pretty easily, so yeah, I'll take that. Uh, assuming they might want to Terra here, I'm going to go Zapdos just to bait it. Uh, they could also just stay in regular form, to be honest, because it's not too big of a deal. Yeah, they actually Terra Electric, which is pretty cool. But that is King Gambit food. That is King Gambit food. But yeah, King Gambit looks pretty good at that point. Hmm, Terra Electric. Do I want to Terra with mine? I kind of do. I think I bring you out, and considering Sloking does nothing, I'm just using that to get regen, and then I'll Terra, and then proceed to beat the 1v1 with Earth Power, because Hydrapple just does not care. Okay, the Ice Beam. Go for a Sludge Bomb as they get fully paralyzed, so I even get a little bit of chip before I die. And then we can go out to Hydrable, Terra, and click that Earth Power. Got to live Ice Beam pretty easy. And I didn't even need a Terra because I keep getting these uh, <laughs> these Paras on my opponent. I keep getting these Paras on my opponent. So they might Sludge Bomb with Dark Rai. Um, they do not knock me out with Great Tusk, that's for sure. Gouging Fire comes out. I guess you're going to Blitz immediately. Yeah, you better. At this point, they blitz again here. I don't knock them out with. I mean, I'm trying to moon blast sweep, right? Yeah, I'm trying to moon blast sweep. So I'm actually gonna sack King Gambit because if they Dragon Dance, it didn't matter either. But I'm, I just need the chip because I don't think the uh, they won't. I won't die to Flare Blitz. They'll die to Recoil, and then I win the game with Moon Blast. So that's fine. Yeah. So shout out to uh. Nice little guy over there. That's dead too. And then it's last. They already terrorized. It's great to us. So we get the win. 
So that's a nice little Hydrapple being able to beat the Manaphy. Let's get ahead and get another game. Our opponent has kind of the same team as us. Like, very, very similar. I don't really have good uh, good hazard control versus this. I mean, like, Great Tusk is cool, but, like, I don't know if it wins the 1v1. Let's find out. Gonna use my Hydrapple here. Let's see if I can infestate something coming in. Or if they want to stay in with this Mon and then try and do as much damage as they can 1v1 with Giga Drain. Like, and I'm not going to do a lot because they kill Ruinate and they can get up Stealth Rock and stuff. But I can spin later. This is this is actually worse of a Ghost Spin Blocker than Skeletor just to deal with. Just because I had Long Rush immediately into its attack. So go for Giga Drain. Probably only do like, what, 30%? Yeah, exactly, by the end of the turn. Uh, I don't really mind the Ruination as long as we get the damage off on Ting Lu. And I get Regenerate at the end of the day. So, oh, they want to protect as well? I'll take it. That's just more chip. I think they only have Earthquake, they don't have Whirlwind, it looks like. So, we're actually going to be uh, 1v1ing them? I mean, I should be 1v1ing them, look what Pokemon I am. That's fine by me. I'll go for another Infestation on whatever's coming in. Now, I do not get my regen on Weezing, unfortunately. But I'm still going to go for Earth Power. Yep. Because I think- No, 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 come on! Yeah, let's go! Good job, good job fam, good job. All right, we'll go Sloking on this. If they want to Pain Split, that's fine. Because if they don't... Yo, this 100% Confusion is kind of wild. <laughs> but I get, my jam I get my damage on this, which is exactly what I need. I'll go for it again. Basically, if this thing's gone, I'm good. Their Spin Blocker is not that great of a Spin Blocker either. Oh, let's, uh, let's encourage you to get fully paralyzed there. And let's go for your Future Side as well in the next turn. Just to get as much Chip. A little, little chilly reception now. So, I go this. I always click Rapid Spin here. Because I have a future site lined up. So, if uh, Skeleturge takes it, I'm in a good spot. The second Skeleturge Terra's, I'm good too. Perfect. Rocky Helmet, yep. Body Press Set. Nice. They're going to take a future site right there too. Hmm. I'm going to go Hydrapple and then double out immediately. I just want to guarantee... Get my uh, regenerator here, and if they try and go out to touch, uh, excuse me, wheezing, I'm in a good spot too. So, yeah, we'll take it. Just could be using this. I'll be able to spin in a sec anyway. So, I'm gonna bring you out. I'm assuming they're gonna bring out uh, Ting Lu. I'm just gonna go for Hurricane. It hits Ting. I mean, it has a chance to hit Ting Lu. <laughs> nice damage. They protect, and I go for U-turn and pray it KOs. <laughs> I even mean, if it doesn't, it's okay. But it's still my play no matter what, anyway. Yeah, definitely still my play. There goes Milo. Gonna use you just to get my regen. And they go Sloking after. I mean, if they if they switch first... Oh, perfect. They actually didn't switch out to the Mon they needed to. Uh, so we can go for a Thunder Wave here. And then I'll take a Hex this turn, but... I'll just take it. I think I'll just take the Hex for sure. Yeah, because what I can do is now everything paralyzed... They yeah, can afford to go you, and just click Headlong Rush. Because I think it's still free turns at the end of the day, and my Hydrapple can still come in, get its regen, and double out anyway. Because they're paralyzed, I'm always doubling first, too. I wonder if I actually beat this 1v1. Oh, maybe not after that. Now let's find out. I want to see if how much Fickle Beam is doing. Okay. If I get all the guys this turn, I actually don't still beat it, so I'm just going to call into you. I was just curious. I was just curious. A hurricane this turn. As I drapple comes out, I unfortunately miss, but we'll go for another hurricane. I'm assuming they're assault vests as well. Oh, no, they would have just gotten smashed by that attack. Right, we'll roost here on Milo and then go for. Hmm. I guess he could be Miracle, but I still want to get my chip. Now, hurricane, just in case they are Miracle. Let me scout for it. They are Miracle. Cool. Good to know. Good to know. Good information there. I think what I actually want to do here is just make the Sloking play. Eat every hit. Get a Future Sight lined up as well. And then spin on uh, Ting Lu. Because I want that Future Sight lined up just to do damage to one of these guys. Dirge comes out. Yeah, what I'm going to do is go Iron Valley on this, because it can't kill me in one hit. Then I'm a trick to lock them into... Basically lock somebody into something. 
I'm okay with giving them boots later too. So this thing is going to die to Future Sight. Nice. Not like I really have an item hit this thing, but I would rather just get as much damage as possible. Perfect. And now I can go you, and I am going to spin. I don't think... They either Terra or they go Skarm. Exactly. And now I can go Zap and just threaten something right now because they have absolutely no switch into Zathos. Always going to Hurricane once just because they still have a Tinglu Live. Let's see if I miss this one. We do, unfortunately. Want to hit the next one so we can do this, buddy? Or what do you want to do here? I just want to know what's going on. Because if I can hit that... <laughs> okay, cool. They Earthquake this turn? They do not. They just go for rocks. I think I CC for sure. So I can never spin on Skarm. However... If I keep it low, I'm in a good spot. So if they get full paralyzed, I think they lose. Like if they if they ever get full paralyzed, I think they just straight up lose. So I'm going to U-turn on Ting Lu always. I really wish I had rocks from this position, but I do not on this team. Like rocks would just win the game immediately. Skeletor to 25. This is not Haze if it's Recover Miracle, I think. Hmm. I think I actually have to keep... I think I have to keep Skarm low, so I'm going to go for the close combat here. Yeah, I have to keep Skarm low. In order to SD up, I think, and win. So you turn here on Ting Lu. I think I just Terra and SD. Plus two, plus four, Skarmory should die. Yep. And even if it Terra's at this point, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter that it didn't, as long as it, it can't do much damage back to me. Perfect. Hmm. I'm trying to think if I need an SD again to kill things. I don't think I need to. I don't think I need to. We'll see. We'll see. Dirge is going to come out. Milo comes out. You, you actually have Haze on the that set? I think I'm way too strong to... I think I... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I beat this 1v1. And I got the sucker play on Scald, right? Because I would go for Scald that turn. So, perfect. Ah, uh, shout out to Gambit. Just Iron Head because it's the one that hits all Terras and then they just lose raw to this thing because I just Kowtow, Skeleturge, and you're dead, and then I beat the last Mon. Ah, very fair Gambit Gaming. <laughs> very fair Gambit Gaming. We love Gambit out here. We just love King Gambit. Let's get another one. All right, we got another one. A lot of threats on that team, but luckily we should be able to spin. I'm going to lead off with Hydrapple, because I think, once again, it's just best case versus Deoxys. This looks like dual screens, just because they have hazards on Samurai. Again, if this is offensive and goes for Ice Beam, I will live it. Yep, there's Life Orb again. We just go for Infestation just to guarantee stay in versus that. I'm pretty sure it's just Stealth Rock 3. Also, I'm pretty positive I use this team. But, yeah, there's a Stealth Rock. Chili out on Samurai. And then find ourselves in a position to bring out this mon and just attack what's in front of us, I think. So, do I want to spin first? Yeah, why not? And the Aqua Cutter crit me. So, I was punished for going for Rapid Spin. That's very unfortunate. All right, that's okay, though. This mon is really good into their team. So, we'll go for Giga Drain here. Um, yeah, that crit sucks, man. It doesn't kill me without crit. And I could switch on Aqua Jet into this mon. I think losing my AV kind of sucks, but... I'll still be in a decent spot. Cease's Edge also doesn't knock me out. Does about the same damage. Perfect. They only get up Spike. I'll take that. I'm assuming Deoxys is going to come right back in. Iron Boulder is a threat. Iron Boulder is a threat. What was this? Terra Poison? So that's not even an Iron Boulder answer. Yeah. Sloking just comes out. Throw off a Future Sight here. And then I think we just Sludge Bomb after. Because I can Thunder Wave, but I'll, I'll just... I'd rather make sure I KO Deoxys and then them bring out something. Because I have the Future Sight lined up, right? So I can potentially Thunder Wave something coming in. If it's Boulder, and then if it's Iron Crown, I'm definitely going for it. All right, they end up bringing out Great Tusk, which is kind of wild. Because I feel pretty... I have a Future Sight coming out. Like, there's a Future Sight coming out this turn. I think they forgot. I don't know. Like, if they double, that's fine, too. They don't get the speed boost on Tusk. Not that it matters into my team, but... 
I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> like I like you see it right up there. Maybe they maybe they're clicking on phone though. I can see them doubling, but Zapdos do, and they didn't double. They just knock. So they're gonna die to future sight here. And they get paralyzed too on top of it. So you paralyze and you die. Jeez. Iron Crown comes out. You turn out. I'm going hard, Val. On the agility. I don't think I can trick this thing, but let's see if they'll give me a trick. Because maybe they just try and calm mind up. That's what I'm thinking they do. Also, hopefully they're EV'd it poorly. So that way I'm faster than them. That would be the greatest EV of all time. Oh, they just Tachyon Cutter. Yeah, this mod's a threat. Um, Agility, Tachyon Cutter. Actually, they might not be no Focus Blast. I think I'm going to go off them not being Focus Blast. I'm SD up. I think these are usually Agility, Tachyon Cutter, Stored Power. Right? So I'm going to go off that. Crazy thing is, I pre I'm pretty sure because of my lack of trick, I lose the other one. Yeah. Okay. So, get my SD up there. Gonna knock him out with Sucker. Boulder's gonna come out, just gonna Terra and hit him with the Iron Head as a sub. I'm gonna see if I can outplay them, though. AKA, always click this. They went for CC, like, forgetting my typing. <laughs> I don't know what just happened there. Like, what are your attack? Is it is it close combat plus swords dance plus sub plus quick attack or something? What? I don't know what happened there, but we'll get another game. We'll be right back. I'm fighting Foxhound. That's a name I haven't seen in a long, long time. Loving my Zapdos in this game. I need to be careful about getting rocked by that thing. But enough enough with Rillaboom. I'm just gonna discharge immediately on our Chaladon. Coming in, there's no point in hurricaning because they're gonna switch turn one. Get the stamina boost. This mod's gonna be very annoying to deal with. And it's leftovers too. I'm gonna go for another discharge and literally try and paralyze it to death. Because I can't beat this Pokemon from special attacks. It's only it's only body press that can go for. It's body press flash cannon dragon pulse. Or dragon tail. Excuse me, with one of them, I'm pretty sure. Can this discharge para? Hey, that one's gonna para? Nope. Whatever. I guess this guy para, so that's cool. Get that future sight going. Then just chilly out. Again, this mon isn't that threatening just because of their particular set. I think in this case, I'm just going to bring out the apple. And do as much as I can. With earth power. Because I have an earth power plus future sight coming out. I could also just fickle beam. Let's go fickle beam. 30 isn't bad. Yeah, look at little apple go. Good job, Mr. Apple. All right, we'll go for Earth Power here as they go out into Primarina. That is Assault Vest as hell. I wonder if you're going to flip. Let me Infestation. Cause, yeah, yeah, because I figured they flip turn. Exactly. So I want to go for Infestation. I don't actually trap you 1v1, but I'm pretty positive. I do too much damage to you. Yeah, that's crit. I'm also AV, just like your team. Ooh, look at that da damage. That's some damage, baby. That's some damage. They can slack off. All they want. Look at them trying to break through AV Hydrapple. Let's go. Get some damage on them. Let's go Hydrapple. Great Tusk comes out. Ice Spinner most likely coming out. Hmm. Do I want to tear out this thing? Yeah, why not? Let's go. Go ahead and get that regen. Not even bad. Do I need health on you? No, I don't think so. This is a spin. Nice, this is a spin kill. So we actually don't even have to play our rocks. And my Hydrapple looks really, really nasty with no rocks either. Rillaboom comes out. Just gonna Ice Spinner. If they want a Grassy Glide, that's fine by me. Especially because I can just bring you out. Always U-turn. There's nothing on this team touches this Pokemon. And that's... Yo, Hydrapple went crazy that game. Hydrapple actually went crazy. We'll get to the game. We'll be right back. This matchup kind of scary. Because they have uh, Araquanid plus all these demons. Oh my god, these webs are going to be crazy. I'm actually very, very, very scared of Mousehold in this game. Uh, it kind of just cooks me. I don't even know if I'll be able to spin initially on that mom, But we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm going to lead off with Zathos though. As they end up leading off with Gliscor. Not the end of the world. I'm assuming maybe a Toxic might come out. Uh, I'll go Slow King just to like bluff that I have Ice Beam or something and just lay off the Future Sight. Oh, it's Sub Toxic. 
Wow, that's incredibly bad for me. <laughs> that's okay though. So it's protect plus that. I can go out into Great Tusk here. And if they even if they go for protect, uh, Future Sight will break their sub. So I'm okay with that as well. If they want to sub again, that's fine. We get a lot of damage off of them with Future Sight here. <laughs> we get no damage off of them with Future Sight, actually. Yo, they're like fully special defensive. This Mon actually can 6 0 me. Unironically. Mm. Let's see if we can go back to Zap. Yeah, on a rack when it perfect. I'll go for the Hurricane Confusion. Basically, also hits Glide Score as well. 40%. Nice little confusion. Let's go for it again. That did not work out for me. Let's go for it again. Basically, I have to keep this Glide Score low because Spidef Glide Score actually quite literally 6 0s this team. So I'll be going for this and see if we can go. Nope, no confusion working out for the boy. I am going to get cooked by this set. Holy. Terra Fly. Oh, I really wish I had sub SD. Yeah, I really wish I had my sub SD right now. The sub SD Iron Boulder cooked this team. It's very unfortunate. Hmm. Fickle Beam. They're going to protect this turn. Not really a lot I can do to stop. And I'm still going to get cooked by the mouse one in the end. I have to like get King Gambit super, super strong. I have to get it super strong. So I have to force this Mon out. I'm Moonblast again. I, I basically need to uh, force them out. Yeah, I definitely need to force them out. I'm going for Moonblast. Okay. Leftovers that. Gambit can come out. We'll pivot once in the Slow King. Maybe they actually pivot back out to Gliscor. They do go Raconid. Just gonna get a future site going. I don't really I mean webs aren't gonna matter, right? I can't do anything about that. I just need to start getting my uh my homie in. Maybe they'll go for toxic this turn as I go for fickle beam. Okay, if, if all the guys attack this turn, I can actually beat them. If they don't, <laughs> it's over. Luckily, they did give me this. Luckily, they did give me this. I am getting cooked by this Gly score though. I'm getting straight up cooked by this Glyscor. Hmm. Great Tusk. Comes right out. Gonna Ice Spinner into Headlong Rush. They might go Raconid, but if they don't, I'm in a decent spot, I guess. I wonder if they let me spin here. I mean, I don't even need a spin as a thing. Like, I just need to weaken this thing so that way I can pop them with uh, my King Gambit. My whole team is actually status, which is crazy. <laughs> Hydrapple at the end of the day is good. Spinning won't do anything for me. Let's go Hydrapple here. Let's like go Golden Go. Maybe they'll let me Earth Power them as well for a little bit of chip. They could have Hex as well on this thing. Nice. Big damage. I don't want the double KO on this guy. I think. I want this Mon alive. I need to trick the Gly score as well. Actually, no, I, I don't. I want to keep my Iron Valiant because I, it's Scarf. Yeah, I, I, I think I can't. I can't afford to switch. I will lose the 1v1 of this thing. Mm. Hmm. Maybe I'm wrong, actually. As Apple lives and make it rain if they go for that. If they go for Shadow Ball, I can at least bring out Tusk. And then threaten them. I'm actually going to spin here. Perfect. One guy going down isn't too bad. I need a little bit more damage. And the thing is, they can also reverse gambit me at the end of the day too. So there's not a lot I can do to beat this thing. I'm trying to think, what's my best case scenario? They already recovered. I mean, I'll Earth Power. Uh, maybe they don't go out into... Maybe they try and go Golden Go. And they go Gliscor. So, yeah, I'm getting cooked by the Gliscor, unfortunately. I will be cooked by the Gliscor. We can go for Fickle Beams. Keep them nice and low. That's two kills. I'm just going to SD up. And then Iron Head. <clears throat> Gliscor is kind of weak, so it, it shouldn't... Yeah, it shouldn't do enough. As long as it doesn't kill me, that's what matters most, right? So I will always be clicking the Kowtow Cleave. 
And the thing is, my King Gambit got so low that I'm probably going to lose to their own King Gambit. But at least I KO Gliscor. Let's go. We got one. Mm, unfortunately, I'm getting cooked right now. Iron Head. Cow they could Iron Head. And if they low kick, I don't think that helps me at all. Do I even need this Mon? There's Iron Head Raw. That's fine. Let's see if I can Thunder Wave. Okay, we go you. Spin doesn't actually matter at all either. It's gonna CC. Golden Go comes out. Okay. Are you gonna Terra from there? The spin why'd the spin even matter at that point? It's it's King Gambit slower than everyone into everything. Okay, bye. <laughs> I would need them to miss here. Yeah, I mean they're they're not gonna tidy up. They're always gonna go for the attack, but I have to go for miss basically every single time. It's my only way to win. They should always attack me here, but again, I'm going off the chokes. So I'm gonna SD. Yeah, good game. Yeah, I just I just lost. I I, I led nothing for the glide score. Like I literally had nothing. Maybe I could have done the King Gamut route earlier, but then I don't even know if I would have killed. Ooh, wow, you look really weird here compared to the rest. I do like the Hydrapple matchup though. Let's see what happens. Have fun. Let's see what we can do with Hydrapple in this game. I'm actually gonna Terra immediately versus Kiram and then if infestation so that way they're stuck there and then beat it 1v1. Will I regret terrestrializing it turn one? We'll find out considering it is my ground resist to Excadrill. But I'm gonna do it. Why? Because it's a lot of fun. And I'm gonna see if uh, my Hydrapple can do something here. Ooh, let's Fickle Beam for some chip. See how much that does. I mean, this Mon is a threat, but I can trick it. Like, worst case, I can trick it. I can lock it into Shadow Ball or something. I also have Gambit as well, which is pretty decent. Tricking with uh, that Mon is, in general is really nice. Ooh, Fickle Beam did a lot of damage. Hold up. Yeah, that did, that's the 160 variant. That did so much damage. Yo, that did so much damage. Yo, you want to get another 30%, bud? Be my best friend. Yo, yo. Yo. That's three 30% in a row. That's my boy Hydrapple. All that to take nothing. All that to take nothing. It got four in a row. <laughs> what a demon. What a demon. Yo, Hydrapple. If y'all haven't already left a like for Hydrapple, you got to. Um, will I lose? To you at the end. I'm gonna go slow king. All right, there's specs ice beam. I'll just chilly out. Give him a nice little defense boost there for free. I lied. I guess I'm not chilling out. Uh, considering this mon is only good for this, I mean it's good for this mon too. But I can't really. I can get them to thaw me. I guess. I guess we'll go hard king gambit and pray it doesn't get too ko by this. Nice. <laughs> I guess I'm getting the luck back after what just happened. That's great. That's a great, that's a great series of turns. I'm just going to go for infestation here and pray they don't freeze this one. Yeah, I'm doing that just so they stay, but I don't even know if it's going to end up working out for me. <laughs> the double, the double freeze after all I got was actually very funny though. So I'll, I'll take it. Um, Hydrapple at this point, as good as you are, I don't think you can stay alive. Gotta go you. Gonna trick immediately. Hoping they go Skarm. Because I, I I think they, they lose if they stay in. Or I, I don't think they lose. I just think it's a bad play to stay in. Because this Mon comes in for free on Zapdos. And Zapdos is actually kite threatening. But they could also be thinking like it doesn't matter. Right, yeah, I'll just CC. They want a hard Moth. I'll take it. Nice thaw immediately. Unfortunately, I probably lose. <laughs> What a game, man. Can I Thunder Wave? I might lose to just Skarm. Alright, I'm gonna try my best here. Because what I gotta do is go you and, and Thunder Wave. 
All right, yeah, that's over. That was a really dumb series of turns. Like, I know I got very lucky, but that's at least a 30% chance to happen. Not uh, double frozen by the Mons that 6-0 them. So, good game. Well played. Uh, they do have a Glass Grey as their, as their avatar, so I guess that was bound to happen. We'll get another game. Hopefully, we get some better luck. We'll be right back. I mean, we got some good luck with Hydrapple. That was sick, right? But I wasn't going to lose to that Mon anyway. I had King Gambit. I have Thunder Wave. Like, I had options versus that. Butter Dog. Lost a good chunk of points from those last two, though. Very scary offense from the opponent. Super weak to zap, though. I'll just you turn out. Right out to my Hydrapple. I'm in. First time I didn't lead off a Hydrapple, I think, the whole video. I'm just going to go right for Earth Power. Unfortunately, missed, but I wasn't going to do in love. What are you doing? You turning out to who? I'm just going to Fickle Beam here. Yeah, come on. Go Roaring Moon on Earth Power. Go something. Go something crazy. I'm going for Fickle Beam. Aw. Back to Heatran. Just Earth Power here. No reason not to. I won't die. If they want to get up rocks, it's fine. They're just going back to Rillaboom. But I mean, it's the same thing, right? Because I, I always go Zapdos on this. I potentially static them as well. Which would help out 50-50 mind games versus King Gambit. Not even 50-50s. I'm trying to think, like, how do I stop Roaring Moon with this? I do have Scarf Val, which is very strong. Uh, unfortunately, my opponent has a lot of great Pokemon into me, though. Such as the Iron Boulder. Nice. That's just Fickle Beam. If they Magma Storm here, they're not going to do anything to me anyway. And I mean, I have a shot of just KOing. I'm assuming I have a shot of just KOing Rillaboom. Yeah, that does nothing to me. So uh, if, if you want to switch, that's fine too. I'll take you out Earth Power or I'll just switch again. Like, what's the difference? I don't get... I'm, I'm getting Regenerator back to full. This is how you can play this Mon. You don't have to make plays like that. Mon's just going to come in. Nice. There is that. I got the pair on you. And then I can go out to Hydrapple again. And this time, Fickle Beam again. Yeah, they gave me Rillaboom. Let's go. I mean, I'm assuming they're going to try and U-turn here. Let's just go for Infestation, actually. Because that way they can't switch. So now I'm able to take the uh, I'm able to take the Hydra, uh, the Heatran for sure. Unless they Terra. But I mean, there's no point in Terraing this Mon. So they can't double. And I can spin as well. I don't think a Wisp matters considering I have no attack, but I understand the idea behind it. I really do. They have Upper Hand Blaziken though, potentially, right? I think I'm gonna have to Terra in front of that Mon. Assuming it's SD. I'm trying to think what even kills this thing. Like, I'm actually trying to think what even kills this thing right now. I'm assuming maybe a Roaring Moon comes out. They could go Rillaboom. And then try and just U-turn just to get up the grassy terrain to help out Blaziken. Because if Blaziken is SD upper hand Flare Blitz. Huh. Do I want to Terra this? Does Ice Spinner even KO? Let's find out. Yeah, I'm about to say. I'm pretty positive it didn't even KO. I'll take that damage. Hell yeah. Okay, so that's a free spin. Because they can't do anything back. Nice. I could tear an ice spinner, but I don't think I... I don't even know if this even kills from 74. Whatever. Let's find out. Yeah, I, I figured. I figured. Okay, cool. So we get rid of Drastic Terrain and we get rid of Rillaboom. Perfect. So I don't got to worry about Grassy Seeds or anything crazy like that. I'm also plus one speed. So I do actually threaten a, a good chunk of their Pokemon. So they maybe they have to go out to the boulder to knock me out. I think it has to be the boulder at this point, right? Because getting rid of that... I mean, I'm a great Tusk. I have HP investment. I don't feel like Hawking. I, I like learning as well from experience too. Which I think is fine. I think you can use the damage cap, obviously, when you have the time, but you can also just not. Now you learn from experiences from playing. This is exactly what I'm doing. I'm assuming Boulder is booster. Yeah, it is. Mm. Spin again, just in case they don't Mighty Cleave. I need to be careful. Because you're a threat. I think tricking it and locking it into one type of move is 
Oh, I forgot it could Zen could kill. Jeez. Yo, from full is crazy. All right, then I'm in a, I'm in a bad spot now. Because they SD. I, I don't even know if they kill me at plus two. I just threw away that Mon for no reason. I mean, I have Gambit, which is my win con, but I need damage on Blaziken for that to happen. That's assuming Hydrapple even win, wins this 1v1. If they're Terra fight CC, then I call it. They are Terra fight. Alright, this is going to be a close. Giga Drain, CC. I have to get the Fickle. I mean, CC's stronger than Mighty Cleave, so why wouldn't they go for CC? CC's literally stronger than Mighty Cleave. I can suck a bunch. Terrasizing should be the play regardless. Let's see if they CC. They SD, which is fine. I mean, if this goes all out... Hmm. They'd Mighty Cleave here. Sloking seems useless, so I'll sack you. I think Gambit kills you. I'm not sure, though. This is going to be really close. I'm going to need both of these guys to really, really put in some work right here. I don't think Gambit... This is where we use the damage calculator. Let's see. King Gambit. Oh, man. Iron Boulder. Sucker Punch, Fight, I really wish they attacked me that turn. Sucker Punch and a 3 dead. 31 to 37. Okay, I gotta try and keep everything alive. Let's see if we can go this on CC. Because then... I mean, this is going to CC again anyway, so I guess it didn't even make a difference. Okay. I mean, I could pray for full paras. That's all I could do. Because it's just CC again. There's no reason not to. Well, well I think they should have. Sucker kills. Do I try for the SD? <laughs> On a full para? Is that the only way I win this game? It might be. I think I might have to, because I don't think I win. Blaze can... I literally need to. I'll try it. No, I, I need to. I literally need to. Otherwise, I just lose the game. Like, I could beat this, but then I won't beat Blaze again. GG. I got crushed by Iron Boulder. I got straight up crushed, man. All these losses in a row. That, that Kieran one should not have happened, though. All right, we'll get another game. We'll be right back. Looks like I get a chance at a rematch. I will absolutely take this. Yeah, have fun, bud. Let's see what happens this time. I'll lead off with Sloking this time. Hopefully not get Frozen or anything like that. Maybe try and Thunder Wave the, uh, the Mon and see what we can do from there. Tarantar lead. Oh, excellent lead on my choice. Like, some might say the best lead possible on my part. It's all right. Tusk is basically free. Yeah, well, Ice Spinner immediately too, just in case they try to go Sinish, get a Spin Block. Decent chip. I threaten them with Zapdos, which I think is the better play on Scrimp Sap. And then go for a U-turn here. Uh, Kiram could come out or Tyranitar. I just want to start wearing things down. Drill getting its balloon popped is actually really, really nice. And I'm an Ice Spinner. Again, on Sinistra. I don't mind... How'd they know I wouldn't go for close combat? <laughs> Either way... Slow King, you want to like not get frozen this time? You want to be my friend? Maybe... I'm, I'm terrestrializing here because I'd rather force their freeze dry than anything else. Hmm. That's unfortunate for me. <laughs> but they'd have to freeze dry next time, so I'm okay with that. Also, if they Iron Head, I'm, my Zapdos doesn't take anything, so this is a good spot for me. They'd freeze dry this time, right? So I'm just going to U-turn. I'm faster. I know the specs. Yep. Gambit. Perfect. And, uh, yeah, we're just Kowtow. Skarm comes out. It is Helmet. Good to know. 31 is nasty damage, by the way. What? 31 is straight up nasty. Nice little U-turn off here. I'm assuming you always bring out your Sinistra. I'm going to go Hydrapple this time. And we're just going to start spamming Fickle Beams. You have Ice Beam? 
and find out. It's just knock. I mean, losing my AV is pretty big, but it's not the end of the world. Getting the chip on you is more important. Val as well is really still strong, so... I don't get a lot of attack back from which one? 135, 148. Keep going for this. I get a nasty crit. I will absolutely take this. How much did it do with the regular? Ice Spinner did... That was on that one. Ice Spinner did 31. I'll go for this roll. Super worth. I want to say... You don't really have a use anymore, Hydrapel. Could be... Alright, Val, I choose you. I mean, I just Moonblast always. It actually doesn't even kill this. <laughs> hmm. I don't want them- I don't want them bringing out- I don't want them bringing out Sinishka is the problem. I'm Moonblasting. I'm okay with Iron Moth. And I get a special attack drop on my Iron Moth. Hell yeah. That's amazing. So Slow King is free. I now get to Future Sight, which is amazing. And then I can actually threaten the Kyurem, because if they- I'm assuming they go with Tarantar. That's fine too. Not doing much to me with no special attack. Tear the reception out. Perfect. I'm going to try and spin this turn. They get a nice type defense boost this turn as well. Do I spin on Kyurem? No, I'm Ice Spinner. Nice. Okay. So next time I can spin. If there is a next time. Because the demon came out. Gambit and dies to freeze dry. They already terrored, right? So, but I can't beat him with that. Is the problem? I'm actually really weak to drill. I'm actually super weak to drill. Hmm. Snow being up makes this harder. I think I just go Gambit anyway. And yeah, they knock me out with freeze dry. I bring out you and I go for CC, which is kind of free. In this game. Yeah, Freeze Dry hella free. I mean, uh, CC looks free. I'm hoping Skarm comes out and just drops. I'm okay with this thing dropping too. To CC. So we get the kill on this. Maybe they go Skarm and just get two a KO'd, which would be amazing. Because that would let Great Tusk win the game. As long as Val's alive, I think I have a shot. But Drill is looking dangerous. Very, very, very dangerous. And that damage on this is going to be nice. I don't know how much Skarm takes. Perfect. Good damage. Kiram is a threat, man. Kiram is a threat, bro. Kiram is straight up threat. Tyranitar, maybe? Skarm comes out. I'm gonna always go I'm gonna always go slow king. Actually, I'm gonna CC. I think they're gonna go Kiram. If this doesn't work out for me, I actually insta lose. So let's let's pray this play works out for me. Come on, double to cure him. Double to cure him. My Zapdos is so free. You don't want me to spin. Exactly. You don't want me to spin. Give me that damn threat. I'm tired of this mon coming out. Yeah. Yeah. You need to double again. I mean, you have to at this point, right? I just U turn here. Actually, I can afford the Hurricane one. Okay. I've unfortunately revealed my cards. Oh shoot, my boots were knocked off. That actually makes this a lot harder. That's really, really, really bad. I think I CC first. Yeah, boots being knocked off is really bad. I'm gonna have to trick Skarm. Because I can lose the drill. Yeah, I'm going to have to trick Skarm. Let me see if I can get a spin off. Spike goes up again. I'm, go I'm going hard, Val. Because, uh, I mean, they're going to roost this turn, right? A Yui. 
Bro, the fact that they're willing to give me this is wild. But I get it because they're committing to the uh, they're committing to the drill sweep. But if I get a future side up plus hurricane, I think I'm good. It'll be close. Okay, it's just body press, which is okay. They take Rocky Helmet, Moonblast into that. So this is free. It's actually Tyranitar that's pseudo threatening too. But getting every bit of chip on this is gonna matter too. With like U turn and stuff. Because depending on the TTR set, it might not even beat me. Okay, we go back to you. I have to sack that to ensure you come back. Ooh, a nasty confusion. I wonder how much rock if Rockside even kills me. Because you're not life or beer air balloon. I, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind some luck right here. It's just Iron Head. Well, I said I wouldn't mind some luck, but I. That's a little frustrating. Their last move's probably Rapid Spin too. I have to hope they hit, hit themselves in confusion here. Because Hurricane did enough. I couldn't stay in that turn. Ugh. Nice. And they died. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Could not have asked for a better turn that turn. Let's go. Just going to roost. Because they can't kill me and there's a chance to get paralyzed. Jeez, that does so much damage. What? That did so much damage. Is this thing banded rocks? Hmm. Moonblast to Skarm is not going to do enough. I died a hazard, right? I think I win. Yep, I win. <laughs> I did it. I won. Yeah, because I figured from that position, Sandstorm ended, right? So I wasn't going to take the percentage from it. I do enough to, yeah, I, I think I won. Let's go. We did it. Yeah, I think if I roosted there, I lost. But as long as I attacked into them, I was good. Just U-turn. And I'll KO Tyranitar and that's game. Let's go. Good game. My God. Hi, Drapple, man. Hi, Drapple. Our opponent got a team. I'm liking the uh, the combination of Zapdos plus Hydrapple in this game. And Scarf Iron Balance, nice too. Hydrapple is actually incredible as a lead in this game. So we're gonna go right for the Earth Power here. Get as much damage as we can. <laughs> That's 100%, that is as much damage as we physically can on a Pokemon. As Mr. Gouging Fire is gonna come out. I don't think a plus defense raise can knock me out in one hit. So I'm gonna go right for the, uh, the nice powerful Fickle Beam there. And then just Terra Fairy and go for the Giga Drain. I'll take it. Also, I'm pretty positive this can't knock me out. Yep. Because I am a Hydrapple. So they can't Terra King Gamma, which means that Val will always beat it 1v1. Also, I will always beat this with Slow King as well. So I'm in a good spot. Uh, I'll throw off a Sludge Beam, a Sludge Bomb, excuse me, just in case they sub. Well, Future Side once. Yeah, that should be... This should be good because... They shouldn't end up with a free sub. I think I always just go for the Sludge Bomb again. We don't luckily get paralyzed. And then I'm able to knock them, or at least lower their stats with that. I'll Chili out. Nice. Then I could bring out the Val and throw off a nice little Moonblast here to KO them. Should be good versus the Dog. King Gambit, I'm okay versus two. I've actually just, I just go hard. <laughs> I literally go hard this and just rapid spin immediately too. On Val coming out. Keep you alive. Slow King. If they're SD, it's a problem, but Combine is a little bit less of a problem just because they're not going to be doing um, much to me at the end of the day. And if Gambito comes out, I literally just go hard Great Tusk. It doesn't matter if they knock. Yeah, they go for that there because I just CC. I kill them, guaranteed. And then they end up bringing out their Zamazenta. 
I just rabbit spin verses and then uh, I mean I have you at the end of the day, right? Actually, I have a lot that can beat this. I'll just go hard Zapdos. Why do I even rabbit spin to, to boost my speed? I just discharge spam. Stone Age ain't gonna KO me. I just get damage on them and then I just trick them immediately with my Val. I even get the pair on them so I, I don't even have to trick. I can just moon blast. Actually, I, I'll trick. I was gonna trick anyway, but. I think it's a good game to end it on. Uh, obviously, y'all saw what the homie Hydrapple did. Definitely a little bit of an unlucky live and lucky at points too, I would say, throughout the video. But it was really fun to use this mod. You got, we lost a good chunk of points this episode, but it was still nice to see what it could do. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you let me know. Leave a like. Feel free to sub. Also, code AIM. I know I've been saying at the end, but if you use code AIM, it's 35% off from now until Wednesday. So if you guys want to support my channel, and you want to pick up something, uh, my Draco Shaker, probably like six bucks, six something uh, from there if you want to pick that up if you haven't. If you live in the UK, you can still pick up Meteor Burst because it's sold out in the US and everywhere else. But if you go to the UK site, maybe you can pick it up if you want to. A couple left there. And uh, anything that you get from there, my, my flavor is hydration. Anything that they have that is caffeinated, 18 plus, just to be aware. But yeah, hope y'all enjoyed. Leave a like. Peace.